Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Thursday the 30th of March 2023. In today's Mill News, Mill have made a signing. It's an automatic signing triggered after a, an appearance target has been met. This is from the southernnews.co.uk. Mill will forward as contract extension triggered after hitting appearance target. Andreas Vogelsanner will remain at Vern till the end of the 23-24 campaign. Uh, Andreas Vogelsanner's contract has been extended by another year. Germany joined Millwall in a permanent deal for Union Berlin last summer and scored three goals and provided five assists in 34 games. He initially joined on a one-year deal but has, has now been extended by another 12 months due to the number of appearances he has made. It means that the Lions have the majority of their squad under contract for next season. With just a small number of first team players yet to die down, tie down their immediate futures. Yes, now is this good news? Is this bad news? Uh, for some reason, it says uh, three goals and five assists. Um, and he's been getting a lot of stick from a uh, certain section of Mule support, so he's um, he's got his qualities, he's not the the perfect player, he's not um, the finished product, but uh, got a trade off qualities against another when you're a team like Millwall. Because if a player could do it all, they would be in the Premier League. Even as a backup, as a squad player, they wouldn't be uh, in the Championship, they would be in the big leagues with the big money. Uh, so you do have to um, pick your players when you can get them, and he's not too bad. He's certainly an improvement of the players that we've had in previous seasons, that's for sure. So moving on to this from millwfc.co.uk. They have had an idea, and they've launched it. Wall wide. Worldwide, worldwide, well, worldwide membership. They've created a new uh, membership uh, category for foreigners for Johnny Foreigner. Uh, from Berlin to Boston, in Stockholm to Sydney, Lions fans cheer and follow their team from every corner of the globe. For the 23 24 season, Mill fans from abroad can showcase their support from afar. By welcome by becoming a worldwide member, brand new package to benefit supporters following across the world, costing just thirty five pound. This unique membership package offers benefits specifically chosen for Lions living overseas to enjoy. The new season's campaign is already proving to be a special year as the club celebrates thirty years at the den, with international fans now able to experience another way of feeling even closer to the club they love, no matter where they are what is included well let's have a little look shall we a limited edition welcome booklet 20 percent off mill tv plus annual su subscription uh exclusive international lion store promotions uh what what is that then it's exclusive international lion store promotion what does that mean? I don't know. Is that every now and then they're going to do like discount postage to certain certain countries? I don't know. Kind of weird. A bit ambiguous, but there you go. Uh, six pound reduction on tickets purchased in advance of match day with an asterisk next to it. Uh, the ability to purchase tickets for away matches. Aha! So here we go. So they can buy. If they're coming into the country, a lot of fans will notice this. If they're coming in from abroad, they want to buy tickets when they're here. If they're here for a week, for a couple of weeks, obviously, that means there's going to be an away game in there. And they say, okay, I want to buy a ticket for this game. And then, oh, so you need to be a member. Well, now they can do that from afar. They can be members. So it gives them the ability to buy tickets for away matches. Although there again, there is a double asterisk on on that one. Ten lottery points, a priority period for high demand cup and playoff matches. 
So they get to go in with uh, the other members and season ticket holders for the big match occasions. Um, which I suppose, depending on the occasion, um, certainly possible if you're in Europe to fly back um, for that game. Maybe not so much if you're you are in uh, Australia or the other Antipodes, but uh, certainly if you're in Europe somewhere and we get a big uh, cup game, certainly plan to come back for that. Uh, five percent discount for eighteen eighty five Club Platinum Hospitality. Uh, discounted tickets for stadium tours at the Den. Free access to Harry's Bar on match days. That's a double star as well. Invitation to an open training session at the Den, which is normally uh, at the start of the season, I believe. Uh, you become an associate member of Mill Sports Club. So, yeah, it's basically just a member, but uh, some various perks for being abroad. Now, where are those asterisks? Aha. So the first asterisk is all wide members receive a three pound discount on match tickets. Uh, and if purchased in advance, in advance of match day, they will receive an additional three pound. So basically, because so this is even better than a this is even better than a member, which uh, the, the one that I've got a membership. I get a three pound discount, but I need to buy in advance. They get a three pound discount just walking up. So they can just turn up on the day of the game and they get a three pound discount. And they get six pound if they actually buy the tickets in advance. Um which I imagine you wanna want wanna trust that the postage you can't really buy tickets. It's usually about three weeks to a month in advance for home games, so Maybe it might be okay to post them out abroad, but I would imagine you just buy them and collect them. Um, so the double star is subject to availability. And please note that the worldwide membership is only available to supporters outside of the UK and Ireland, Channel Islands and Isle of Man. Age is calculated on the 1st of August 2023. So there you go. Um... Portuguese, German, French, Dutch, English uh, online form to fill in and get this done. Good idea, bad idea. Oh, yeah, I think it's a good idea, isn't it? It strikes me, I know it's a bit of foreshadowing as well. It strikes me that this is the kind of thing that a Premier League team with a worldwide audience watching them on the television would be doing hmm so there you go now moving on to this also from usc.co.uk what is on in april well let's have a look shall we so the 5th of april is a coffee morning 10 a.m then 11 a.m there is Aidan O'Brien's Legends Tour. Sold out. That's sold out. I wonder if they're going to go through the executive lounge where the coffee morning is and they'll wave at everyone as they walk through. But that's also on the same day, Wednesday the 5th, but that's sold out, so don't worry about that. Two days later, Good Friday. Good Friday, Mill versus Luton. 12.30pm on... Um, Sky Television as well. All the tickets are still available. Then Wednesday the 12th, the other coffee morning. And then a reminder that that is a season ticket super save the deadline day. And like I said, we've got the game this week. The West Brom game. We've got the get Luton game then. And then we've got on the Monday, the whole City game away. If we get some good results out of them, and it might be worth investing in that Super Saver ticket, because it, uh, it could very well be um, could very well be a season ticket to a Premier League team next season. 
uh, also on the Wednesday the 12th. They have the Junior Lions Fun Day, 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. Obviously, Easter holidays, so they've set that up for them there. Saturday the 15th of April, Millwall versus Preston North End, 3 p.m. Tuesday the 18th, Millwall versus Birmingham City at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. because it was moved, because it's that is also going to be live on Sky Television. And on Wednesday the 19th of April, the coffee morning. Uh, and again on Wednesday the 26th of April, the last coffee morning of the month. So there you go. Activities taking place at the Den in FC16. Now, moving on to uh, this story, also from MuleSC.co.uk. Uh, SLO update, season um, supporters liaison officer. A Mill Football Club wishes to provide an important update to supporters regarding dialogue with the club. Supporter liaison officer Shona Groves is set for a period of maternity leave. The role will be covered immediately by Alex Russell, who supporters can contact via the existing email address slo at millfc.co.uk or the SLO Twitter account. Club was shown a well during her time away from the den. Indeed, um, good luck with all that. Um, being covered by Alex Russell. Um, don't know who that is. Alex could be a man, could be a woman. No idea. But um, they will be fielding your your emails, complaints, and inquiries from now on. Now, moving on to this from Mill Events at Mill Events on Twitter. The end of season awards. They have uh, telling you when it's going to take place. If you're interested, email commercial sales at millfc.co.uk. See selling tables and all that. Taking place on Friday the 5th of May. May the 5th be with you. Um, Friday before the last game of the season, the home game, uh, against Blackburn. And that's when they'll be handing out the awards for um, player of the season, young player of the season, and, and stuff like that. So, 5th of May, Friday the 5th of May. Now, moving on to, we've got an, uh, four stories of Gary Rout talking. Obviously, back to doing the, the press ahead of the West Brom game at the weekend. So there's a lot to talk about and a lot to go through. This is from SuffolkNews.co.uk. Mill manager wants to maintain consistent mentality for final fixtures. The Lions will need to handle the pressure of being one of the player favourites heading into the last weeks of the campaign. Gary Rowett does not want his players to change their mentality as they look to secure their top six finish in the championship since 2002. Mill will head into Saturday's match against West Brom with a three-point gap on Norwich City in seventh, having become one of the promotion favourites after an impressive run in February and March. They have won five of their last 11 games, drawing three and losing three, putting them in an healthy position ahead of their last eight games. In theory, the Lions have one of the easiest runnings in the entire division, especially compared to their playoff rivals. They face three huge games against West Brom, Luton and Blackburn Rovers, the rest of their opponents are languishing towards the bottom of the table. However, Rowett is adamant that these players need to maintain the same mentality that got them into the top six, although he is aware they will feel the pressure in their final fixtures as they close in on a shot of securing promotion to the Premier League. The outside story is almost what we uh, got a relatively easy one in outside of those three games. Told me, isn't it? Uh, we just lost Huddersfield. We were a team down here at the bottom of the table. As a manager, that doesn't even cross your mind. Uh, every game is a tough game. There's pressure for every team at this stage of the season. Pressure is a privilege. We're fortunate to be in this position. We've earned the right to be in this position. What we've got to do is go out there with the aim of trying to embrace it, enjoy it, and work hard to try and get the results that we need. Along with every other club that's trying to do exactly the same, I don't see it as here's the three, next three games and then we've got five games. Because we've got eight games left starting with West Brom, 
That's as simple as it gets. Simple as, as Big Barry would say. So there you go. Moving on to this, also from Southern News. .co.uk. Mule boss reviews international break schedule ahead of championship running. The Lions have had to balance work, rest and play over the last two weeks. They prepare for their final eight games of the season. Uh, Mill players were given a few days off after an hectic run of fixtures, but manager Gary Rowe has been keen to keep them fresh ahead of their final eight games. The first team squad have been without a league match for two weeks after their 1 0 defeat to Huddersfield Town at the Den, although some were off on international duty. As a result, it has been hard to maintain a full working schedule, but the manager is keen to get back to work ahead of Saturday's trip to West Brom. In terms of work and rest, I think there's a, a blend of both, really, he told me. I think most clubs will do the same. You're going to uh, give the players a few days off to relax and re-energise for the last eight games. I think that's important. Of course, you don't want to go into the back of a defeat, but overall, our form has been pretty good in that period. It's a chance to reflect. Uh, we've had two or three days off and then straight back to work. International breaks are strange because you've got four players not here, so you can only work on certain things. You've got a few injured players maybe coming back into train. There's a little blend, and as the week starts to ramp up, it starts to look a little bit more like a full squad. It's been good so far. All you can do is enjoy the break, reflect, and get ready to go again. We got a game. Uh, moving on to this from the brightly coloured London News and Find.co.uk. Oh, they have been quite extreme. Mill Boss Rout issues verdict on West Brom's amazing home run. Gary Rout is paying no attention to West Bromwich Albion's impressive home record ahead of Mill's visit there on Saturday. The Baggies have won 10 of their last 11 matches at the Yorkers and are unbeaten in that period. Carlos Corver and side have only conceded one goal on home turf in those 11 games. Mill are three undefeated on the road and just and lost just one of their last six away from the den. Asked about West Brom's results on home turf, Rowan told the South of the Press. They've been quite extreme, haven't they? Their away record is something like losing four or five out of the last six away from home. But they've had that run at home. Most teams like West Brom who play with a lot of intensity playing with front foot. We've got a big home crowd there. Of course, it's always a little easier to do that. If I'm being totally honest, I'm not really bothered about records. I'm, I'm not really bothered about what their own record is. Uh, we know that they're a good side and they've got good players regardless. They could have lost their last five in a row and I wouldn't be taking the game any lighter because they're a good team and they can beat anybody on any day at home or away. Uh, it's about making sure what we do is good. Uh, we might have to think one or two ways to mix up our ideas to get a result, which is going to be a tough challenge. It's no different to any other challenge. Not playing Sheffield United, Burnley or Swansea at home. Because you hardly see the ball. Can't imagine West Brom is going to be anything different than that. Uh, yeah, and like I said about runs, and um, especially when you have a big run like that, it needs to end sometime. It, you... You can't just keep winning. You you gotta. It will end sometime, and the possibility, mathematically, that it will end, uh, increases as the run continues. It's basic science, or is it maths? Uh, again, with the brightly coloured London News Online dot UK talking about um, Jed Wallace's Gary Rowett. It would have been lovely to have had both Zion Fermi and Jed Wallace in my Mill squad. Uh, Mill manager Gary Rat has admitted that it would have been lovely to have had Zion Fleming and Jed Wallace in his team this season. The Lions paid a club record 1.7 million fee for Hampstead born attacker Fleming 24 in the summer. The championship side had made contract offers to Wallace, but he opted to run down his deal and join West Bromwich Albion on a free. The two clubs go head to head on Saturday in a pivotal match at the Hawthorns. It's ironic that Jed has left us and probably been one of, uh, if not their best stand-up player of the season. Rout told the South London Press. He's been fantastic. Uh, people have sort of compared Zion and Jed. Maybe I spoke about Zion's numbers being better, but that was never a comparison. It was just a fact. 
Overall, it would have been lovely to see Jed and Zorn in the same team. I've got a lot of admiration for Jed as a player. What he's done uh, going there is giving him a new lease of life. He's certainly not one we'll have to scout and do too much work on, because we know what he's all about. Uh, Wallace received plenty of abuse on his return to the den earlier this season, and his decision to celebrate assisting for their goal only ramped up the hostility. We all have around 2,000 fans travelling to the West Midlands for the match, and Wallace, a star man so often during East Lions' career, is sure to be a target. He won't mind that, Jed, said Rowan. He's an emotional player and he plays on that. He loves the game, he's passionate about it. Uh, sometimes when you leave a club, it's hard. What do you do? Never celebrate. You've got to take him for what he is. He's trying to win the game for his club. I'm sure he'll get a bit of stick, but he'll be loud there at home, that's for sure. West Brom are five points behind Millwall, but have a match in hand. Carlos Corberan has transformed their home form. Uh, Ten wins in an 11-game unbeaten run that has given them hope of making the top six. He's done a terrific job, said Rowett. You have to assess the results. They've had a few managers before that have uh, been able to quite seem to get West Brom going. There was a lot of external noise about where they were and what they could challenge. Because they've got quite uh, a lot of quality in the group. If you look at his impact, they have a clear, clear way of playing. They play very, very much on the front foot. And they have different patterns, but quite specific patterns. They are very well coached uh, outfit. You can see that from his Huddersfield team. And you can see that with, with his West Brom team. Uh, that home form has been far better than their away form. You've got that uh, flip side to a team, but us going there makes it a little tougher and more of a challenge. Indeed, and more on that in tomorrow's video, but for now, thank you for watching, and goodbye.